So in reality, yes, you, it's, there is a way of navigating through this. There is a way of looking and a way of doing things. You don't disrespect people who have differed with you. You don't disrespect people who have differed with you. And at the same time, you carry yourself in a way that's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I look down and mashallah, if I need to greet them, I will greet. If I need to help them, I will help. But with utmost respect, such that by the time you're done, they would be nodding their heads. You know what? These people are really good people. What did you do? You gave da'wah. You called people towards your beautiful teachings and characteristics just by rendering assistance to a person who might not even have been dressed in a way that anyone you would have associated with in terms of friendship may have been dressed. But so what? We're citizens perhaps, we might be residents perhaps of the same place, or if not, at least they're right there in front of you. What would you do? Subhanallah. In the same way that I've just told you, when a physical meeting happens, be it in the malls, be it on the streets, you have to respect people who differ with you. Number one, that doesn't mean you compromise your goodness. Number two, Number three, if they require help, it doesn't mean you run away from them. Number four, when you help them at a time when they do need the help, carry yourself bearing in mind you belong to Allah. Carry yourself bearing in mind you belong to Allah. For example,